Hello Gemini and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. You are about to get somebody new here. I feel like you've got new love coming in and there's someone from your past who it's it's ending with, okay? When one door closes, another one opens, all right? And I feel like that's what this is because somebody's dragging their feet. Um, they could be waiting for like the right opportunity to come forward. They know they have a choice to make when it comes to love. I feel like, um, or maybe this could be like a life choice. This person may even need to travel to get to you. So you could have recently moved away, um, got a new home, someplace you love. I feel like you're uh, you're happy where you are, okay? So um, yeah, if you've moved recently, this could be an upgrade, okay? Like you're moving on, you're meeting new people, and there's a person who's still in love with you that it's coming to an end with. Yeah, you're done. You're cutting the, um, you're cutting the thought of getting back together with this past person out. Okay. I feel like they've already cut themselves out. They removed themselves from your life. Um, they they were supposed to make a decision and they they didn't want to face that decision. They were waiting for the perfect opportunity, the perfect moment that maybe this person was waiting for you to chase them. You know, but um, yeah, you're like, I'm not waiting anymore. You're done with this last cycle. So um, you're putting an end to this. Yeah, this person knows it too. See, they know they needed to come and apologize for breaking your heart, putting you in a third party. Okay, they knew they needed to come in and make this right. Because I feel like something this person did just shattered you. And I feel like it was a third party betrayal. Okay, um, but they haven't been wanting to do that. This isn't something that they've been wanting to do. They uh, Maybe they thought they would get away with this, you know. Or they wanted to put this behind them, but they can't. I feel like their conscience is kind of driving them crazy here. But I feel like... Um, they put this off for too long. Yeah, done. They've put this off for too long. But there is someone new that you're about to meet, or maybe you've already met somebody new. Yeah, look, this person from your past is this, they just want me to talk about them. This could be somebody very self centered, very selfish. Wanting your attention. I feel like they now they may want your attention. They, they're crying over spilt milk. They're all stuck in their head about you. This is somebody who seriously, I feel like they had a decision to make between you and someone else. And they overthink it. Um, this is somebody who is um, oh, really constantly thinking about this. You know, knowing what they had to do. Knowing they needed to come in and apologize for the things that they've done. They needed to face a, um, a decision that they had to make. You know, they needed to confront you, conf uh, tell the truth. They needed to do a lot here, and I feel like they put it off. Maybe they didn't know what to, what to decide, you know, but whatever they chose over you, um, these are empty cups here. It didn't work out. And this person, now they're realizing that they missed out on this Ace of Cups. They missed out on your love. They missed out on a chance at, at ultimate happiness. Okay, that would have, you would have made this person happy. I feel like someone else is watching you. Um, someone else is seeing stars when it comes to you, okay? And I feel like you're about to meet someone new. There's someone, someone new coming into your life, okay? And it's, and uh, you know what? This person can feel it. They can feel that energy, okay? They're feeling like a complete fool. And they can't stop thinking about you. But yes, you're moving on. You could be an Aquarius. You could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, heavy on Cancer. This new person coming in could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, I'm feeling like Virgo energy. Or your person from your past could be a Virgo. 
Scorpio, maybe a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yeah, Cancer, Pisces, Pisces. I've got Pisces out here. This person can't sleep at night. Okay, I, I feel like this is, you know, this is somebody who they roll around in bed trying to, they can't get comfortable when they close their eyes. They're seeing images of you getting away with someone else. They're having a lot of anxiety about the choice that they have to make. This, this is somebody who still hasn't made a final decision. Okay, this is someone who is putting off making a final decision. Okay. They were putting it off and putting it off and putting it off, you know, and um, now they're out of time. They can't stop thinking about you. They have to confront this, but now too much time has passed, okay? And they know that you're breaking away from this connection. Like maybe they can feel you disconnecting or you could be um, posting things on social media. This is you in the public eye, right? Posting things on social media, um, maybe even posting about meeting somebody new. They can see that you're having a victory here. I feel like, you know what, you could bump into somebody new. This could be how you meet this person. It could even be like a fender bender. It could be like a little, like um, a mild car, you know, a little car bump, that kind of thing. That could actually be how you meet this new person. You're going to bump right into them if you haven't met them already. Okay? But yeah, this person from your past, they're watching you be blessed with a new home, a possible house move, a new car maybe, um, uh, maybe your own social media platform or platform on the internet somewhere. Um yeah, there you've got, you could have some kind of stardom, and you're getting new love. And the longer this person sits over here thinking about this, the more they're losing you, the more stressed out they get. But this door is closing, yeah, I feel like it's closed on this person. Yeah, I feel like um, there's been no communication, they've kept their back turned. You know, I feel like they are crying over this. This six of, of cups here with the four of cups, that's very emotional, okay? That's literally crying over spilled milk because they know they've lost you or they're worried that they've lost you. They, they could be getting some um, really intense dreams um, if they are sleeping at all. They're getting dreams or nightmares being shown some things about who's approaching you, okay, and how happy your future is, is going to be. Um, this is giving this person anxiety, okay. I feel like they're having some really bad nightmares because they don't want you getting away. They don't want you with anybody else, but uh, hey, if they, then they should have taken some kind of action. You know, they should have come in with an apology, and they, they just kept putting it off. This is somebody who um, you might not have spoken to this person for years. Three months, three years. For some of you, yeah, you really, you waited a long time for this person. Seven years? Seven years for someone? You got to be kidding. You know, it's time for you to have a new beginning. So guess what? You're about to meet a king of pentacles. Okay, I feel like this this person coming in, it's going to start slow, okay? It's going to start off as friends, but it's going to grow into a solid commitment. This is going to this king of pentacles is going to be someone who's going to want to be loyal to you. Um dedicated, committed. So, yeah, you're moving on and you're leaving this other person behind carrying these burdens. Now they're this is these are like burdens that are almost too heavy for this person to carry. Okay? Having a lot of anxiety, unable to sleep, thinking about you, watching as somebody, um, someone new comes into your life. I mean, the, <laughs> every time you have a win, I feel like it burdens this person even more. Because you know what? Life is going on without them. 
They can stand here and waste years of their life if they want to, but your life goes on, okay? Um, honestly, I kind of get the sense that you've been moving forward this whole time, you know, and now you're having this victory, okay? So, yeah, they're very burdened that you're moving on without them. That's what this is. It, it is their worst nightmare. They're being shown their worst nightmare at night. Yeah, but they're stuck. They're seeing things from a new perspective, but they're stuck in their life and they're stuck with the situation because they should have came, came in to talk to you a long time ago. And I mean, to put it simply, they're out of time. They're out of time. You're not waiting anymore for this person. You're moving on. Um, you want to live your life and you've got this brand new opportunity here. Okay, so you've got, um, you've got a lot of abundance coming your way. You've got a major victory in the public eye and the Ten of Cups wish fulfillment and new love. So, you know what, you're not going to slow down or wait for this person anymore, and that crushes them. But um, it is their worst nightmare, but they did this to themselves, you see. They were given an opportunity a long time ago to make a decision and choose the same path you're on and do right by you and give you an apology. And this person, all they did was ignore those opportunities every day was an opportunity to change their life around with you. Okay? But every day they ignored this. All right, so now they're having a very painful ending. They know you're moving on without them. They know they can't come back in. They're out of time. And, um, and this is their worst nightmare. Their, basically, their worst nightmare is happening. And maybe at the time, they didn't foresee this happening. What did this person think that you were going to wait around for, for them to get their act together forever? You know, I feel like this is telling me, look, you've healed. Yep, and you're ready for justice. You're ready for the scales to be balanced out. This person stuck a sword in your back straight through your heart. And they left you there, hurting, abandoned, having to heal on your own. So you pulled that sword out, you bled out, you healed on your own, you've healed yourself. And you see the truth. You're holding this sword in your hand, accepting the truth, seeing the truth. This person, man, they just don't have their ish together. Okay? And I feel like you're protecting yourself Maybe you don't want this person back from your past because you don't want them to hurt you again. And you know they haven't changed. They haven't changed. Okay, this is telling me you've put in all of that effort into healing. Okay, into transforming your life. Right? And moving above this. Not just past it, but above it. Okay, you conquered this stuff, all right? Collective, you conquered it. You conquered the pain, the betrayal. You con conquered this person. They're a mess right now. They're hitting rock bottom, you know? And I feel like you're getting your own justice here in the form of a, of a new beginning, new beginnings. And the wheel of fortune is turning in your favor, so blessings are coming in. It may feel like a lucky streak in your life, you know? Um, but you've completed a cycle here with the world card. And now the universe is aligning everything with the wheel of fortune to bring in a balance in your life, okay? Things are about to be balanced. For as much pain as you went through, you're, you're going to be... Um, getting that amount of love in return from this King of Pentacles. For as much betrayal as you went through, you're getting, um, you're getting just as much loyalty and dedication, okay? Uh, any kind of financial struggles that you went through, you're going to be getting a lot of abundance here. That's going to balance things out. And if you were unhappy in the past, 
and everyone seemed to just kick your cup over and um, take advantage of you, you're going to be getting happiness times 10. Okay, so yeah, I feel like um, this is when your whole life starts looking completely different. Honestly, this your whole life is going to be completely different from what it was in the past, okay? Because you put in the effort, because you worked on your healing, because you, you stood your ground and you held on to your standards, okay? And this person from your past, they're hitting rock bottom and they're living their worst nightmare, realizing all that they lost and realizing they missed their chances because they were a fool who ignored the situation. All right, plain and simple. Okay, so let's get some oracles for you. What else is going on? You could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, a Taurus, Aries, Cancer. Uh, yeah, I already mentioned Aquarius. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, you went by the book, Collective. You did everything that Spirit is, has asked you to do. And, and Spirit has led you through this healing, okay? Yeah, and now you're ready for a new life. I'm telling you, they're like, follow us. Just keep, just stay on your path. Keep listening to Spirit. Keep allowing them to lead you. You you get to start a new life. And because you've gone by the book and you've graduated, the, you know, the world card to me is a graduation card. You had to learn all the lessons and pass all the tests for this. That means they're celebrating you. They're holding you in very high regard, high honor, high honor energy way up on this pedestal, up on this pedestal. Look, you're on a pedestal here. You're on a pedestal here. This is high honor. So you know what? This is your graduation gift, the land of milk and honey. And this is the Ten of Cups in this deck. So you are about to get wish fulfillment. I feel like spirit is like, make a wish. Make a wish, collective. Okay, you did your work. You put in the effort. And now you get to move forward um, and get wish fulfillment. Yeah, you graduated this last cycle. Yep, through the chaos, the conflict... All of the drama that you've been through, all of the mess, the, the pain, the betrayals, the heartache, out of that, you get to emerge happy, happy in all of this wish fulfillment, okay? So I feel like the chaos and the conflict, your life is about to get so much easier. It is. It, your life is about to be completely... I feel like your life was like this before, okay? Chaos, conflict, drama, people ripping at you, tearing you apart, hurting you, walking all over you, taking advantage of you, lying, betraying you, right? And it goes from that to this. That's, that's how different your life is going to be, okay? Okay? And just know it's because of everything that you've learned, all your effort, and what you've, what you've given to other people as well. You know, um, and, I, and they hold you in very high regard. This is high honor. Ooh, collective. Yeah, so get ready for your life to change, collective.